Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, before we get into the reading, as usual, I will be putting down the good old fashioned holy water. I love the holy water. So good for me, and it's so good for you. And it's so good in the neighborhood. <laughs> so, you know what time it is. Hmm. Tarot's down session. Most honorable judge, T. T. Dong, presiding. You can all lay down. So we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. Like I always tell you, it could very well be your own energy. Whatever the case is, we will get it, we will hit it, and we will quit that shit together like we always do, baby. Oh, I'm wearing Colleen's sweater that she mailed me, the green sweater. Oh, this thing's so warm. Thank you, Colleen, for keeping me warm, especially when I'm not turning the heat on. <laughs> Uh, it just it stays, costs so much money to keep at a neutral temperature, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <sighs> Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay, look at that. Shuffle truffle, right? My goodness. Whew. Show me the energy of the person. Mm. <laughs> Okay, we got one that wanted to come out. Star. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay. Alright, looks like it's time for somebody to get what they're wanting here. Time for them to reap what they have sown. We're going to have to find out what this person has sown. They know where they're going, that's for sure. They know exactly where they're going. Okay. And we've got the devil. Oh boy, what's going on here? Alright, basically your person's done with uh, whatever they've been working on here. We've got the devil. Oh boy. I think we're just going to need to get into this reading and just start to clarify. Because obviously, what comes after the devil is the star. So, it's kind of implied here that there has been something that had happened, that was unexpected that happened between the both of you with this devil energy. So what was this unexpected thing that happened with Pisces and this person in this devil energy when you might have been questioning it here too? And the both of you weren't seeing very clearly at all. So what was this unexpected thing that happened between Pisces and this person? What was this unexpected thing that happened between Pisces and this person? Good Lord. What was this unexpected thing that happened between Pisces and this person? What was this unexpected thing that happened between Pisces and this person? Man, I'm going to have to get out my truffle sniffing hog here. What's going on? Whew. What was this unexpected thing that happened between Pisces and this person? What was this unexpected thing that has happened between Pisces and this person? If you want it accurate, i got to shuffle. What was unexpected that had happened here? Okay. Hold on. We're going to get one more on that. Thank you. Okay. Looks like uh, one of you, looks like you, Pisces, told this person, okay, that you wanted more out of this situation. Which had basically, it was unexpected for this person. So how did they feel when Pisces said they, that Pisces wanted more out of this situation? How did this person react here? Show me the energy of what they reacted when Pisces said they wanted more. 
What was this unexpected thing that had happened? And Pisces said they wanted more for this person. What was this? Good Lord. What's going on here? Shuffle truffle. Yeah. Yeah. He told this person. Yeah, and it, it's like whatever you told this person, it was like, wow. Pisces is really brave. Pisces is really royal. Pisces is really tender. I didn't really expect that Pisces w wanted to continue to work on this and make things better. So it was like they didn't expect you to say this at all. Why would they not expect Pisces to say this? What would they what why did they not expect Pisces to say this? Why did they not expect Pisces to say this? Why did this person not expect Pisces to say this? Why did this person not expect Pisces to say this? They didn't expect you to say this. It's just a repeating message. Yeah. I feel like it. this was like something that they were hoping for too as well. Very strongly. So they, yeah. They want this too just as much as you do. And I can see it in this energy with this Ace of Swords and the Star. These energies are matching. So this is something that they were wanting too. Okay. We're going to talk to this person's star. So it seems like this made this person feel really good when you said this. So let's look at this person's star. Let's look at this person's star. Show me this person's star. Show me this person's star. Show me this person's star, please. Yeah, this is what they were. This person, this person is like, yeah. I want a, I want a relationship too. Yeah. And this is what I've been focusing on here too. I want the same thing as you do. This is nice energy. I like this a lot. Okay. So we need to figure out, we need to talk to this person's uh, Seven of Pentacles because this is about reaping what you sow. So let's go ahead and talk to this these seeds that they planted that have grown that they're about to harvest. It's like harvest, harvest, harvest. What is this person wanting to harvest here? What is this person wanting to harvest? What's this person wanting to harvest? Let's go top to bottom. What's this person wanting to harvest? Good Lord. What is this person wanting to harvest? What's this person wanting to harvest? What's this person wanting to harvest, please? What's this person wanting to harvest, please? Come on, top to bottom. What's this person wanting to harvest? Come on. I'm going to get Carpal Tunnel back here. Let's go. Oh, boy. What are they? Oh, boy, Pisces. You might want to prepare yourself here. because It looks like this person is ready to... Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is this person ready to harvest? Well, your body. This person's a body snatcher. <laughs> Yeah, but it's in the cards here too, Judge. Yeah. It's the body snatcher. Right? I'm not saying they're going to harvest your organs, but what do they want to harvest? Well, they want to, you know. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They want to they wanna ride the oxen here, Pisces. I'm not, I mean, I know I'm joking, but I'm not joking. I just make jokes so that I don't sit in these weird energies. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> we're going to talk to this person. What 
Where's this person headed towards? Where are they headed here with? What is this person headed towards here? Let's talk to this person. Where where do they know? They know they know they know where they're going and where are they going? Where's this person going? Where are they going? Whoa. Where are they going? Oh boy. Where are they going? Well, they're headed right towards you. Yeah. But it's like the, the wheel's there. So this is about the right timing, though. Oh, boy. That always sucks when uh, we have to say that, right? It's like, oh, no. Or they're doing it, but they're doing it at the right timing. What the hell does that mean, Talia? Well, what the hell does that mean, Talia, with the Wheel of Fortune? What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean with the Wheel of Fortune, please? What does it all mean here? Yep. So they want to say something about this, though. What is the, What do they want to say something about? What do they want to say here? What do they want to say here? Yeah. So they want to take it slow. They want to take it slow. With the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, okay, this is about taking it slow. So they know what they want, but they want to take things slow first. But this is what they want, okay? They want you, for sure. But they want to take it slow, which is fine. You can't expect people just to go full willy-nilly in, all right? Because that's just not how life works. I like this energy, though. Um, we're going to grab the white sage. We're going to clear it off uh, with the white sage. And then I'm going to grab one card for each sign. Let's get the final messages and see what else this person wants to tell you. Hold on, I'm leaning forward. What does this person want to tell Pisces right now at this time? What does this person want to tell Pisces right now at this time? What does this person want to tell Pisces right now at this time? What does this person want to tell Pisces right now at this time? What does this person want to tell Pisces right now at this time? What else do you want to tell Pisces right now at this time? What else do you want to tell Pisces right now at this time? Me and Ramona talked about me getting a new white sage deck, which I do have one. It might be time for me to break in a new white sage deck. This will be my third deck. Yeah, this will be my third deck. Okay, what do we got here? Oh! <laughs> okay. Hold on. Oh, yeah. This person's got feelings for you. Hold on. Oh, well, Sir Wallers came out. Oh, Sir Wallers came out. He hasn't come out in a long time. Oh, what else do you want to tell Pisces before Sir Wallers speaks? Sir Wallers is a big deal around here, for those of you that don't know. Yeah, this person is definitely attracted to your eyes. Pisces, it is me, Sir Wallace, in the flesh. I have not been here for a very long time, but I have arrived with crown and scepter. Pisces, I can't believe that you told me that you wanted to work on things together because so much has happened between the two of us. And when you told me this, my beautiful Pisces, it made me feel so good. Because I've been hoping you'd tell me that you wanted to be in relationship with me, despite my big tusks. But it is clear to me that I want to harvest your brawl, and I want to melt your clothes off. But first, Pisces, we must take things slow. Because I am fat walrus, so I move very slow and I waddle around. Would you kiss my tusk, Pisces, and take my scepter and flapper? Love you, Pisces. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> oh, Sir Walrus, where have you been? And we've all missed you. All right. We're going to grab one card for each side with the kitty boom booms for Jesse and Gabby. All right. Pisces, uh, dealing with Pisces. How does Pisces feel about Pisces? How does Pisces feel about Pisces, please? 
Okay, they're waiting and watching you. Cancer, how do you feel about Pisces? Okay, they want to pet your Persian kitty. Scorpio? Scorp. Oh. Scorpio feels like this is over. Uh, Aries? Aries. Is conflicted right now. Uh, Leo. La, 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 Leo. La, 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 Leo. You guys are not talking right now. Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius feels like you're just busy with work. Uh, Libra. Libra is holding something back from you. Gemini. Gemini, 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 Gemini. Okay. They need some time and space right now. Okay. It is what it is. Aquarius, how do you feel about Pisces? Aquarius, thank you. You guys are not talking either. Um, Virgo, 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 blah, 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 Virgo. What do we got here for Virgo? Virgo is definitely wanting things to move forward here. Uh, Taurus. Oh, shoot. Wow, that shot out. Taurus has feelings for you, but they have not told you. And Happity Cappity, how do you feel about Pisces, Cap? Sure. Capricorn feels like they really screwed up this connection, and that's kind of basically what they focus on. So, as always, thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims with Sir Walrus. These are the tales of your fins. You can like, share, comment, subscribe. Tarot's adjourned.